Well, it's a super play. So the ninth Melbourne Derby is underway. Switch of play. By Melbourne Hunt to open up the victory defence. A lot has been made in the build-up this week, Harps, about uh, the two young fullbacks for Melbourne Hunt. Maybe the midfield area, though, is the Gabano and Thompson in those uh, defensive midfield roles, if you like. They'll have to do their share of work as well. Such a season. Looks to attack Traore, gets beyond him. It'll drop here, and the shot by Walker is only partly held by Nathan Coe, and the victory scramble it clear. And again, Melbourne Hart just continuing their early promise here. Richard Garcia getting the better of Adama Traore. Not up in that happened. Terrific work, Nathan Coe. And then Leia scrambled. His hands full with David Williams tonight on that particular flank. It's going to be uh, too far for Thompson, is it? Yeah. They play as twin strikers together or, or alternate between the out and out striker and the one who just drops off the line. And I think. Ali Babal that close to his first goal in a Melbourne derby. Early promise for the heart. Williams to deliver with the left boots. And it almost from. Garcia's cross, partly cleared by Light. The retreat was energetic by Melbourne Hart and they intercepted Thompson's cross and survived. Many teams this season haven't. Flores, by the way, there's no doubt to play to Williams down the left and Garcia down the right is still promising. And then you've got Eli Babal and Josip Tadic. And victory will try and buy I think than he was expecting. involving Nick Ansel. I just wonder whether he's uh, still feeling that, the big Croatian. Top scorer, of course, for the heart with six this season, but he... Uh... Struggled a bit with that uh, injury some minutes ago. Just uh, keen to keep a lid on things. Tempers can quite easily fray on Derby Day, of course. Just four points separating fifth from tenth. Melbourne Hart win. They'll go from 21 to 24, so they'll only stretch that margin by one point. Very, very congested in this race to a playoff berth. And broken up by Tadic. Garcia finding Thompson. Garcia again. He's trying to angle it in behind Ansel. And that's where the players still, 27 minutes in, haven't quite got their range. The ball is running so quickly on this surface. And the passes have to be inch perfect. Flores. His was, and Thompson is onside. Great chance for the victory. It's Thompson! Hart's nemesis back to Hawk. Gamano. Babal slipping it through. Tadic should let it run, perhaps. Gamano would have been through one on one. Gamano with a slide rule ball into the path of Williams. Back for Babal. Danger here for the victory. Babal just trying to. They've got a lot of sympathy for the line of thinking that keeps Milligan in midfield to maintain that combination for Melbourne victory. Except when... Gamano's cross. 
powerfully met by Leia. Victory fans having uh, plenty of fun behind that goal away to our right. Why shouldn't it? Their team leads, courtesy of Archie Thompson. Here is the goal scorer. Looking to run up Jeremy Walker, he goes past him and sells in the dummy and then tries to beat Red. To lose one from Broxham. Thompson, well watched by Leia from Melbourne Hart. Spin away though by Leia and now Melbourne Hart will get a decision and there's going to be a card issued. of course have uh, had their issues with injuries, suspensions of players leaving as Williams first touch takes him away from Galloway, looked really promising. Galloway to continue for the moment at least. Leia finding Flores. Fabulous outing so far. And we're looking forward very much to the next 45 minutes. Archie Thompson's goal, by the way, was his uh, third in this derby fixture, which puts him level atop the, uh, the most, along with John Aloisi and Robbie Cruz, who, of course, now plays in Germany. Abrato gets rid of Milligan and Seleski. Still going. He's on drive on goal, too, blocked by Leia. Turn inside. again Galloway continues the and here come the red and whites through David Williams Mitchinson and having a man's advantage deflating second half performances deflating and Johnny Aloisi the rookie coach who's done so many good things with this team they're really not that far off but they just can't crack a consistently hard edge in their play, and they're being punished for it. And you cannot afford that against this. Milligan was his sixth of the game, and he's uh, yet to receive a yellow card. Deputising for him in that position. Doing a great job of it. You have to maintain the danger, however, posed by Golgot Mabrantu, who's been outstanding since coming off the bench. A stunning free kick which rattled the crossbar in the dying state. Well clear. Western Sydney to Williams and Sharpish too by Ange Postacock and Kevin Musket. Never mind about your injury, son. Who cares if you're on debut? This is what it's about. And that's back off Thompson and it's volleyed away to safety by Gerhardt. For Baal to hold it up. It's on the Bratu, just a hair's breadth away from getting on the end of the Garcia cross. Top stuff. Broxham. Not going to relinquish the responsibility. He is struggling big time, though, Thompson. 